All right, what's up, family? Hey, yeah, we're gonna do a very good one for you today, as usual. But we're gonna title this one, Playing the Lottery. That's simple, playing the lottery. We know how a lot of people love to have that fantasy dream of when I hit this lottery. Well, let me explain to you the probability about you hitting the lottery, the chances of you hitting the lottery. And as always, you know I love to give y'all word of the day, and that's gonna be the word of the day, probability. We've learned that when we was in elementary school, right? And then you like the chances. Man, these bugs are so annoying. Um, the probability. Now, if you look up the actual word of probability, it simply means the extent of something to likely happen or that being the case. Another way of putting it, simple way of putting it, the likelihood, the possibilities, the chances. You know what I'm saying? So think about it. What is the probability of you actually hitting the lottery? Now, I did a little math for you guys. But before I get into this, got my, got my board today. I love writing stuff down, showing y'all the proof of what I'm talking about. So before we even get into that, just think about what is the probabilities of you hitting the lottery? It's slim to none. And if you ever think about it, isn't it ironic how you always hear of the people who hit in the lottery are already rich people in already suburban rich areas. You almost never hear about them hitting in urban areas or poverty areas. Meanwhile, that's where most of the lotteries are more abundant, abundantly placed in those urban areas, but they barely hit. And whenever they do hit, they hit for small fractions of wins. You know, it's almost like Mike Myers. Remember when he made that statement where he said, throw me a freaking bone here. You know, they got to throw you a bone here every now and then. But the probability of you hitting is close to none. And they're playing people out by making you think it's possible for you to win. You got to even take it into historical firm forms. When the king, way back in medieval times, when he came up with things called the lottery, he, he made sure he put it in the poverty areas where he had people paying their taxes. Remember, you don't get rich. Rich don't get rich off the rich. They get rich off the poor in small, minute numbers, but multiple numbers. We need a little from you, little from you, little from you, little from you. That's how they stay rich. And they put stuff like lottery, they dingle it in front of your face like they put a carrot in front of a donkey. The donkey will never get the carrot, but he's chasing it the whole time. That's what the king did way back then, and that's what they're still doing to this day. They throw this lottery in your face, making you think it's a, a possible, the probability of you winning when it's close to zero for you to win. But they make sure their own people win all the time. Now watch how I explain this to you. It is with my board, my trustworthy board. <laughs> Don't mind these scars. This is when I fell off my motorcycle and got hurt. But check it out. Urban area, suburban area. Now watch this here. If we go to the suburban area, there's not a lot of uh, corner stores and all that. They got stuff like the winery, where they have a lottery machine. They have a gas station, of course, where they got a lottery machine. And then they might have a grocery store really got a lottery machine but it's not a lot but somehow this area is the area that hits the most they hit the most right but when we go to the urban area you know where it's mostly poverty you got grocery stores with lottery you have a bodega y'all hear these things before a bodega with a lottery every bodega got a lottery machine you got the liquor store they got lottery machines you got the corner store with the lottery machine. You got the 99 cent store with the lottery machine. You got a convenience store on every corner with the lottery machine. Of course, we got the gas stations with the lottery machine. We got a store with just lottery machines. We got the check cashing place. For a lot of people that don't got bank accounts, they got a lottery machine. We got the plazas with a whole bunch of stores in them with lottery machines. And then we got the gas station and multiple other places. So my point is, in the urban area, we are triple, quadruple more stores that has lottery machines than the suburban area. But however, this place close to zero ever hit. And whenever they do hit, remember, like Mike Myers, remember, throw me a freaking bone here. They gotta throw you a bone to make it look right. But overall, this is where they always win, right? Here's another way to prove it to you. For all you people who you work your job 20 miles, 30 miles away in a whole different area, right? For all you college kids that go to a school in a far off area, right? What is the most common thing you've heard all the time when it's relearned relating to lottery? You don't think about it at the moment, but watch me, watch me strike a nerve. 
Watch this. When you was going to your college, going to your job, wherever it was you was going out of town, what is the most common thing someone like your grandmother said to you? Hey, baby, when you go to that college this weekend, could you play your grandmother a couple of numbers for me, please, baby? Right? And sometimes we even respond to grandma and say, but grandma, why you want me to play you lottery numbers? There's a there's a bodega, a corner store, right across the street from where we live. Why don't you just play it right there? No, baby, I want you to play it in that area because that's where they hit. They hit in those areas. See, that's inadvertently. Grandma, no, they don't hit in these areas. They make sure that they hit in those areas. You get what I'm saying? How many times do you go into work, especially truck drivers, your family members say, hey, ain't you gonna be driving through a bunch of different states? Well, why are you in those states? Could you play me some lottery numbers in those states? We don't wanna play them here. We wanna play them here. Know why? Because the probability of you hitting is higher here. Let me explain more, more in depth to you. Every lottery machine has a code number on it. They know what lottery machine is gonna hit. So they already have it set up to hit in this area with this code number. We're gonna put this code number to hit at this store today. They could easily make the numbers hit the way they want them to hit. But we're gonna make this code number hit for that store, the winery in the suburban area. Well, in my opinion, um, I used to play a lot the numbers and then now suddenly i think that's i have that same mentality as grandma yeah you go because for the simple the fact areas. years and years i've been playing in the area yeah. that i live and, and no nothing now, nothing now don't get me wrong there's a chance every now and then uh ray ray or or, or lucy she just happens to be driving from work and she has to drop some off and she's driving through the town and she stopped at the gas station that area and then she hit that's, yeah. But they already made the probability. What is the probability of it hitting in this area? What is the probability of it hitting in this area? Minus one. See, so let me. So the point what I'm getting at, I don't care where you go in the world. Every lottery machine has a code number that they can go by. They can make that machine hit in that area. They're not gonna make a hit in your area. No, another way I could prove this to you. How many times you watch the news, seen on the internet or whatever the case, right? Uh, a local store got gets robbed, gets stuck up, gets robbed, right? And and like they say on that show, world's dumbest criminals, right? They not only rob the place, they also take a whole bunch of lottery and scratch off tickets, right? And what happened? These foolish criminals, they think, what's the probability of me getting caught? I know what I do. I robbed the store in Harlem, New York, and I got these lottery tickets, scratch offs. I'm going to take those lottery tickets because the probability of me getting the money here is going to be high. So I'm going to make the probability low. So I'm going to take the, the scratch-offs I stole from Harlem, New York, and I'm going to go all the way across the bridge to New Jersey, Woodbridge, New Jersey, and I'm going to cash them in. See, that's what they think. But this goes back to the code. Every lottery ticket, scratch off, and lottery machine has a code. So when that foolish, world's dumbest criminals, they take those scratch offs that they robbed the store in Harlem with, went to New Jersey and tried to cash them out. You know what happens? When they get to that store and try to cash them out, next thing you know, the, the store clerk, well, the code sets right in. They go, these numbers have been stolen. She calls out the police right away. And now all of a sudden, while he, they telling him to wait, the cops show up. And when the cops show up, you know what the criminals say? The, as soon as the cop get there, the cop go, all right, sir. Put your hands behind your back. You ain't locked in. <laughs> the criminals say what well, all, all these dumb criminals say. What are you doing? I ain't do nothing. <laughs> nah. See? So my point is, it proves my point. A scratch off lotteries and the lottery machine, it has code numbers. They could easily make this machine hit in this area. They could make it hit. They put a magnet on the ball or they make some balls heavier than others, but they already got it set to hit at this store in this town. Here, nothing. But we'd throw you a bone every once in a while so it looks legit, like the king used to do back in medieval times. He went to all the people of poverty and collect his little coins from all these people. He got close to nothing from each one, but when you put them all together, it was a big pot for the king. The poor kept the king rich. And that's what they're doing to this day. So my personal statement to a lot of y'all out there, stop playing a lot of you because they're playing you.
Or another statement I like to say, don't play me, go play Lotto. But in this instance, I would tell you, stop playing Lotto. Because you know what? Lotto, you, the chances of you winning is zero to none. They tell you it. Remember, they put the truth right in your face. And another thing I, I love to say is, remember, people lie, our family and friends lie, the victor writes the history, so history lies. But one thing that's certain is numbers. Numbers do not lie. Two plus two, I don't care what country you go, two plus two is still four. What is the probability of you people hitting the lottery in this area? Close to nothing, minus nothing. What is the probability of hitting in this area? Multiple. And ain't you tired of hearing how some rich guru or some rich joker who already got money hit the lottery? You're like, wait, this guy already got money. How, how in the world this lottery was in this town and this guy hit way 10 towns over? A guy who already got money. Like I said, folks, put it all together what I'm saying. Every lottery machine has a code where they can already set that machine to hit in that area. Even the world's dumbest criminals who stole the scratch offs, they thought they'd go to 10, 6 states over and cash them in, but it's already, those scratch offs has codes too, where they already know those are all stolen. So you think you're getting over, they already, it's already set in the plan for you to fail. So stop wasting your money, invest your money in yourself, stop investing it in this. Like a lot of rich people even say, they say, know who mostly played the lottery? Poor people. You know what most rich people do? They invest in themselves. Stop playing and wasting your money on the lottery because the lottery is set up to take your money just like the king took from all the medieval people back in the days and, and gave them hope, a probability of winning, which was close to zero, minus zero. Keep your money, invest in yourself. On that note, subscribe, share, like, and comment. Peace.